small intestines. It is 6 to 7 meters long and 2.5 centimeter in diameter. It is narrow coiled tube having three parts. A. Duodenum B. Jejunum C. Ileum Duodenum is U-shaped. Bile from the liver and pancreatic juice from pancreas reach duodenum through separate inlets. The pyloric sphincter remains closed until digestion of food in the stomach is completed. Jejunum. The middle part is called jejunum. It is a short region of small intestine. Ileum. It is the longest part of the small intestine. Ileum opens into the large intestine. The major part of the process of digestion takes place in small intestine. The inner lining of the small intestine is produced into a number of fingers-like projections called villi, singular villus. Each villus is covered by a single layer of epithelium and supplied with network of capillaries and a large lymph vessel called lacteal. The villi increase the surface area for absorption. The small intestine is so long that food is retained in it for a longer period and shows following character. A. The inner lining of small intestine has millions of villi throughout its length in order to increase the surface area of absorption. B. The epithelium of villi has mucus lining throughout its length for easy diffusion of digested food. Large intestine. The small intestine opens into large intestine on the right lower side of the abdomen. It has three parts. Cecum, colon, and rectum. Cecum. The point where ileum joins the large intestine, a sac-like part called cecum, is present which hosts some symbiotic microorganism. A narrow finger-like tubular projection, the vermiform appendix, which is a vestigial organ, arises from cecum. Large intestine does not play any role in the digestive process. No digestive juice and enzyme are poured in this region. Formation of feces occurs in this region. Colon. The cecum opens into colon. The colon is divided into three parts, an ascending, a transverse, and a descending part. Rectum. The descending part opens into the rectum. Rectum is the last part of alimentary canal conserved with the storage of undigested food, called feces. The external opening of rectum is called anus, which is kept closed by a ring of muscles called anal sphincter. It opens only during defecation.